Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel Silk. In this video, I am going to discuss about online registration process of CCMT counseling. I am going to discuss step by step procedure. Okay, please watch video till the end so that you can get the information and whatever the doubts you have, every doubt is going to be cleared. So let's start the video. And also before starting the online registration process, here you can see view special eligibility restrictions that means some of the NITs have imposed some special eligibility requirements like along with your degree and also some CGPA requirements and also the like 10 plus 2 level you have to pass this mathematics subject in some branches like for some branches they have imposed a lot of restrictions also just go through these all restrictions I will explain one example for example if you take here NIT Calgate, they have imposed on restriction regarding computer science and engineering. Like the student should have minimum 60% marks for general or general EWS OBC category and also 55% marks or 6 GPA for SCHT PW students. This is the restriction they have imposed. And similarly for all other branches from various NITs, they have imposed a lot of restrictions. If you are clearing those re restrictions or those eligibility conditions only, then only keep that option in your like whatever the counseling like you are going to give your options right from like like first option is NIT Trichy, NIT Calcutta in this way they are if you are going to give just check the these special eligibility requirements also if you give those options without clearing those eligibility then it is just a waste of time if you get the seat in that college also they don't allow you to get those seat and they don't allow those program students okay remember this thing just go through all these things like for different NITs, different uh, requirements are there and mostly they are based on the CGPA only like 6.5 CGPA for like or 60% uh, marks in the for general EWS and OBC candidates and also 55% or 6 CGPA for SCHT PWD students and some other programs like they are imposed like restriction like they should pass mathematics in 10 plus 2 level or they should have this mathematics subjects in their 10 plus 2 level and also 10 plus 3 level in this way they have imposed a lot of restrictions just go through it like for different branches different restrictions are there and also i have uh, downloaded as a pdf those restrictions also you can see this pdf and i posted this pdf in the telegram channel which is available in the description like my, whatever the telegram channel regarding ccmd 2023 i have made a telegram channel the telegram channel link is in the description just join that telegram channel you will get this pdf okay and also for time to time updates regarding my youtube channel also you will get the updates in the telegram channel if you have not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel i am going to do videos on ccmt counseling regarding step by step process and also like what is freeze float slide and also regarding the decision making of each and everything all these things i am going to make in the upcoming classes okay now let us start the online registration process here you can see registration fee payment and choice filling for ccmd 2023 comes if you click on it this page will open okay this is just my mail is displaying on it okay i have already like uh, filled this application form and i have made the screenshots for you i will explain with those screenshots this is for example a example gate 2021 scorecard with this scorecard you are going to apply then keep in mind these uh, things like here you can see the registration number this is a gate registration number this is very very important while filling the ccmt form this number is required okay just keep this uh, scorecard with you it will help you during the counseling okay this is a registration number just keep in mind and also here you can see gate score and also marks these things are also very very important okay now here you can see this is the candidate sign or login page the, you have to click on this new candidate registration like initially you have to click on this and after that you have to fill the details and you will get username and password with that username and password you have to log in using this sign in option okay i am explaining from the basic point of view because 
you people will confuse with each and everything that's why my motive is to understand each and every step by step procedure regarding ccmp counseling after clicking on this new candidate registration then this page will be displayed like whatever the things you have to please read carefully regarding these things like have you read this ccmt brochure and also whatever the saved choices regarding this thing also it is very very important if you have not responded like uh, during the last date of saved choices it is automatically those choices whatever you fill it will be automatically locked and you don't have option to like uh, change those options also in the last date okay within those time you have to respond and you have to check those options correctly whatever the saved choices so that there is no problem regarding those saved choices and also this is not much important and also you have to go through the special eligibility requirements i have already said regarding special eligibility requirements those pdf is also i posted in the telegram channel and download that pdf and go through the whatever the special eligibility requirements of each and every nit and i have gone through understood the cancellation and refund policy also like whatever the registration pay fee you are going to pay it is not at all refundable remember this thing whatever the special round fee all these registration fees are not at all refundable only the seat acceptance fee and also the college fees you are going to pay that is nothing but the refundable amount if you are going to withdraw from the ccmt counseling if you are going to withdraw only then you will get that refundable amount remember this thing after all reading these options you have to click on i agree you have to click press on it and after that automatically you this thing is going to display you have to fill the your name registration id which i already explained in the initial slide what is gate registration id as gate exam year it may be 2021 22 or 23 whatever the gate score card we have to select it and after that gate exam paper whether which branch you are belong to like aerospace engineering civil engineering whatever the branch you may be select that branch next enter the gate score i already explained and also marks next enter the security pin whatever it is going to visible in that page here and remember one thing it is very very important whatever the candidate name you are going to fill just ensure that that candidate name is same as its uh, like 10th certificate like basically from 10th other and also your bachelor's degree that name is going to be same just fill the name as same in the 10th certificate okay and if the, your name is somewhat different from bachelor's degree and 10th certificate then there should be query is going to rise during the document verification okay at that time please ensure like uh, don't panic and just get the affidavit so that those affidavit is going to help you in the if the query is going to rise if only the query is going to rise if not then there is no problem at all and after that you have to fill the mobile number email id remember this member mobile number and email id is working condition because you are going to get otp for mobile number and email id both not single like for mobile number and email id you will get one otp for mobile and one otp for email id those numbers you have to fill and also after that you have to create your own password that is primary password this primary password is going to use when you are going to log in okay and this is secondary password just to create, uh, create some random password as secondary password also because uh, some at some conditions if primary password is you did you forgot also the secondary password may helpful so create your own password and remember this password don't forget if you forget then again you are going to face the problems next after that security question like it may be some question they are going to ask randomly just answer that question and also security pin which is displayed here just click on it just uh, whatever the pin is going to display click uh, fill it here and after that just mobile uh, verification of mobile number and email address are mandatory like otp is going to send to your mobile number and pass uh, email those otp enter after this page then after that your registration will be successful and after that your registration form will be completed it will be show here and after that you have application form qualification details contact details and preview and final submit will be there after that you have to pay the registration amount that is 3000 rupees okay for obc and ews and general candidates and also for other category other uh, amount is displayed and i will share you those uh, fee amount also
here you can see you have successfully registered you have to fill this application form details qualification details contact details and after that this is the application form you have to fill your father name mother name date of birth gender category and also the bank account details you have to give because if there is any refund also if you withdraw from the ccmd counseling those amount is going to be credited into your this account okay this is about the registration process i have explained you from the step by step process and some steps i am going unable to explain because uh, those steps are mandatory if i fill those uh, details before that's why up to what extent i can explain i explain okay thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you never miss the updates regarding my